Shabbos, everyone. In Parshas Kisisa, we are told something very fascinating regarding the concept of a leader. The Pasuk at the beginning of Pasuk Perek Lamed Aleph says, V'aydaver Hashem Moshe Lemor, Re'ei Karasi V'shem B'Tzalel Ben Uri Ben Chor L'Matei Yehuda. Kodesh Baruch says to Moshe, Re'ei Karasi B'shem. He introduces B'Tzalel Ben Uri Ben Chor L'Matei Yehuda to Moshe Rabbeinu. And similarly, though, we have a Pasuk in Parshas Vayakel, the beginning of Perek Lamed Hay, actually Pasuk Lamed in Perek Lamed Hay, and the Pasuk says, Vayomer Moshe el b'nei Yisrael, ru'u kara Hashem b'shem, b'tzalel ben, Ur, ben Uri ben Chul Matei Yehuda. Two Pesukim, very similar, there's only one difference. In Parshas Kisisa, Kadesh Baruch Hu says to Moshe, see who I've chosen, and in Parshas Vayakel, Moshe says to Klal Yisrael, Look who we've chosen. Look who HaKadosh Baruch Hu has chosen. What's going on here? The Gemara in Brachos desc- describes the story slightly differently. But with that story, we learn something very, very important regarding leaders. The Gemara basically says that HaKadosh Baruch Hu went to Moshe Rabbeinu and says, B'Tzalel, is he hugged for you? In your perspective, is he appropriate? Moshe responded, if he's appropriate to you, of course, to me. Paris Vayakel, it was Moshe asking Klal Yisrael. Moshe looking to Klal Yisrael, is it appropriate? Is he fitting to build the Mishkan and so on, the Kalim? And Klal Yisrael, if he said, if he is hugging for you, if he's appropriate according to you, Moshe, then of course he's for us. What's going on here? Why do we need a Kodesh Baruch to then to Moshe, then to, to Klal Yisrael? <coughs> Rav Kook describes and explains that there are three components to a leader. First, there's the, ans- the, the concept of what goes on inside the taras halev, the midos tovos of an individual. That's something that only a Kodesh Baruch Hu knows. And then you have the mumchiyot, the expertise of an individual. That is something that experts can see, but experts can appreciate. And then, of course, you have that which is appropriate or that which is the most relevant, I would say, to the nation, or at least visible to the nation, and that's his charisma, that's his presentation. All three are needed for a leader. But what's coming, the Parsha is coming to tell us that it's in that order. First you need the Midos Tovos, the Tzidkos, the Tara Salev. Then you need, <coughs> excuse me, then you need the expertise, the Chachma. And then of course you need charisma as well. Being charismatic is unbelievably important in terms of a leader to be able to bring everybody together. But it's the third of the components. It's the third. First and foremost, we have to check with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. One second. Tara Salev. Well, who knows that? Only a Kodesh Baruch Hu knows Tara Salev. In terms of expertise, Moshe Rabbeinu can know who's, expert, who's expert. In terms of charisma, who's the one who's having an impact on Klai Yisrael? That's the, that's the way Kali Yisrael would be able to judge them. This is something that we, when we look at leaders, it's always important to recognize and realize that yes, of course it's the presentation, but the question is, what's behind it? There's so much more to a leader. And Bez Hashem, we should always be Zohar to find those leaders that can take us to the next, to the next place. Mechayel El Chayel, have a wonderful Shabbos.